Hello, what an amazing uh, entrance music we just <laughs> experienced. That happened. So glad you did. Yes. It was truly indicative of the show you're about to experience. Um, I've lost my pick already, so it's going great. And now we're going to give you some alcohol for free, so you enjoy it more. <laughs> Am I going to just draw it right now? Who got their raffle tickets? Get them out. Take good note of the numbers on your ticket. Okay, ready. Here we go. It's a it's a purple ticket. Purple ticket. Purple D forty five. D45. Is anybody? D45, oh my god. You are going to have the best night of your absolute life. Oh, so, bottle of wine. And drink so, it Anna, tell, tell us what she wins. You win a bottle of wine, white wine, Savon. Merlot. Merlot. Sorry, Merlot. Second time. Oh, well, yes, yeah, second time winner. You should so buy you've a lot of ticket. Two yeah. bottles of wine now. And you win a Pete Cornelius album. Wow. And two, one ticket, two tickets two to the tickets. next show. So, so you've got She's gonna have live music, night. you've got an album, and you've got wine. Alcohol. What else do you need? Nothing. Tell the joke. Okay, the joke. we're just getting a pick from me because I'm a diva and I can't possibly use somebody else's. Um, do, you wanna, do you want to tell your joke, Anna? Oh, yeah, okay, I'll tell. So, oh, I'm Hayley. This is Anna, by the way. <laughs> so. Um, this man, this boy, he's in year 12 and he's going to the formal. If you're from Queensland, you call that a prom. You call it prom. Weird. Oh, yeah. Anyway. I'm from, from anyway. I'm from a small town. <laughs> um, anyway, he's going to the formal and he's um, really, really excited. He's taking this girl. He really, really likes it. Anyway, he's a boy though, so he's running late with everything. So he goes to the car hire place. He's like, I've got to get a limo. I've got to hire this car. And he waits in this line. It's waiting, waiting, waiting for hours. He finally books his car. Then he's like, oh, God, i got to get a suit. So he goes to the suit shop, and he's waiting in line. So many boys there trying to buy a suit last minute. Waits and waits and waits. Gets his suit. Awesome. Then he's like, oh, God, I need a corsage. So he goes to the florist. Same thing. Waits in line. Waits, 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 waits. Gets his corsage. Anyway, finally picks her up. She looks amazing. Best night ever. They get to the formal or the prom. And they're dancing. And he's like, hey, you want a drink? And she's like, yeah, yeah, sounds good. So he walks over to the bar and guess what? There's no punchline. <laughs> All right, so should we play yeah, some music? Start. <laughs> Better make your mind up pretty soon 
fiddle solo goes. So if anyone would like to do some uh, mime fiddling, it's your time to shine. Oh yes, honey, get it. <laughs>
Yeah, well, uh, I very excitingly are in the... We're, we're, I can't speak. I'm too excited, actually. That, that's the level I'm at. I'm actually writing for my debut album right now, which is very, very exciting. Um, and, like, the other part of it is just really worrying that I'm never going to write anything good again. But conveniently, in this two-year period that I've been writing for this album, I've gone through two breakups, so a lot of uh, inspiration for country music. I've really dug myself a solid there, I think. <laughs> and also conveniently, they both had the same name, so now I could just name drop in a song and they won't know who's it, who it is about. So, stealth, fight it out to the death. No, I don't think they really care. Um, but look, I guess we'll find out when the record comes out. I'll come back and tell you. But this is a song I wrote um, about after you go through a breakup and it just feels like you can't escape that person. It feels like they're just a stain over your whole life and you just can't seem to wash them out. I wrote it with uh, my friend Brad Butcher and uh, now I'm going to play it. Why can't I speak normally? You're doing well. I'm really excited to be here, but also quite nervous. So I took a shot of espresso martini before, and it's really gone to my head, obviously. Anyway, it's half a shot. <laughs> it was half a shot, but that's enough. I'm already at a level. It's too much for most people. Will you always be the red wine? Will you always be? 